You're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. We discovered that human potential is severely limited when you program humans like a machine, which is standard practice today for self-improvement. The Ecosystem Approach teaches you how to uncover your infinite potential by using natural methods that are truly revolutionary. Join us now for the Ecosystem Approach show. This is the Ecosystem Approach show. I'm Patricia, and I'm here with my husband, Jason. Today, we're talking about the time in your life where you felt you were full of possibilities and then what happened and how to get back to that place. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Jason, do you remember a time in your life when you felt like you were full of possibilities, and if you did, what happened? You know, I've always felt that way, and I want to give a shout out to the people in the audience right now. Okay. If you ever had that feeling that you're here to do something special, or maybe there was some sort of um, um, something that happened that you felt had some sort of cosmic significance, you have to listen to this show. This is really, really important. But yes, I always felt like I was here to do something important. Okay. But I had no idea what to do with that feeling, you know? <laughs> so I started and this made, made sense to me. This was, I remember this being a teenager. I started reading a lot of self-help books. My favorite was uh, think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill and all of the positive power of positive thinking books by Norman Vincent Peale. And I remember I wore those books out. I literally had to go through a couple copies of think and grow rich and and a lot of my uh, power positive thinking books, they, they were paperback, but still they were, they were wearing out, you know? So, um, and although I knew I, uh, I, I had this inner feeling that I, I was here to do something important, but I also knew that I lacked the confidence to get there. So I tried using think and grow rich and positive mental attitude to find that confidence. Well, okay. So what happened to the feeling or the voice that, that said, you were here for something special. Where did it go? I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it got squelched. You know, I was reading these books and I was reading these books and the, and the voice didn't get stronger. Um, it just kind of, it, it faded in the background. And mm-hmm. instead I replaced it with all these recipes and processes and, and, you know, power, power of, um, 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 power of positive thinking, you know, positive mental attitude. Well, do this think this way, do this. And in the, and as I started to do those things, that voice started to get quieter and quieter mm. and it, it, it started to shrivel up. Okay. And, um, I didn't realize at the time, but as I tried to implement my potential by using these, these methods, which are really, um, programming, it covered up, destroyed and discredited that, that inner voice. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, so what you're saying, am I correct? What you found is that, um, the, the, the self-help books, um, they're basically programming. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, um, but they didn't help you. They gave you information, but it didn't help. You know, I remember, um, writing out my goals and, and reading it over and over again as an affirmation over and over and over and over again. You, you know, I, you know, I believed I was there. I, I, I knew I was, I had to do something. I had to, to, um, um, to, to make this happen. Okay. And frankly, and I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but the ecosystem approach, what Patricia and I have done with the ecosystem approach is, is the motivation was to save you guys that are listening right now from, from that search. Mm. That search was, took me so, took me years, you know, 10, 20, you know, decades. Okay. And, you know, um, I know that a lot of people suspect 
we talk about programming all the time and programming is where you force yourself, you trick yourself, you manipulate yourself into doing things when you really don't want to do them. And, um, (laughs) but the fear is that if I don't do them, that you're going to be lazy, rudderless and Mm -hmm. completely unproductive. In other words, if you don't push yourself, right. You're just going to sit back, put your feet up and say, you know, give the, give the, give the finger to the world and say, yeah, you know, go ahead, try and make me. Well, okay, and 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 in with in that right there, Jason. The bottom line is is that I know that you and I both know that sitting around doing nothing, watching TV and eating popcorn, that sounds really good at the moment. But that's beside the point. Um, that things can happen during those times, meaning you know you get an idea or that that sort of thing. But you also know that from the work that we've done that that kind of stuff is programming and that you have to remove that programming before the real ideas and the real understanding of who you are and what you came to do here. And I'm not just talking to Jason. I'm talking to everyone. Those real ideas, they're there. We know that. You know, that's how the, that inner voice gets discredited Mm -hmm. because we get these programming messages that says you have to discipline yourself. You have to work really, really hard. Sure. You have to force yourself, you know, self-discipline is a form of force. And, Mm. um, you know, I don't know anybody out there. Self-discipline doesn't feel very good. Like, Oh yeah, I want to do that. (laughs) You know, (laughs) um, self-control, you know, and I, I remember, you know, there's movies, um, um, that, have, you know, the samurai, the last samurai, you remember that one, mm-hmm, you know, it was about oh, discipline and self-control. Well, that's not fun. That's not life force. And that's how your internal voice gets discredited. Right. Because the idea is that if you don't do that, you're going to be, um, you're going to be rudderless and you're going to, um, you're going to be a nothing and a nobody and lazy. And, and, la- exactly. Yes. And, exactly. And what we found, and we've been doing this for a long time, we're naturally motivated. We yeah. don't have to have, we don't have to force ourselves, push ourselves. What happens is, is that um, it comes, it, it almost comes up um, in a natural way and we can't even help it. You know, we can't, we don't try and force it down, but it keeps coming and coming and coming. Right. Exactly. And that's part of the, uh, dis, you know, how that inner voice is discredited. Well, and you know, I, I do want to say this and, and I realized we were talking about you, but one of the things that I know that I used the force about was because the home life that I lived in was really, really bad. And I didn't, I didn't know any other way. So I, I, I know that I used a form of force and, quote, positive thinking in order to get out of the house. You know, and it doesn't work. And we've been no. doing it. We're, you know, I don't want to tell myself, you know, Patricia's old. And <sighs> we're, the truth is we're both old. We're both older, you know. And we've, we've been looking. We've been searching all of our life. And we're here to tell you right now, if I could reach through the radio right now and and uh, take your hand, I want to say that most self-help is programming, mm-hmm. capturing your authentic potential that need, never needs to be motivated is an energy process. Right. It's internal and subtle, but it's completely unique to you. Correct. And some people, here's, here's the big mystery. Some people can program themselves very effectively. Mm-hmm. And those are the people that we put on a pedestal. Those are the people that we say are the best among us, the people who have, who have driven themselves and pushed themselves and had these great achievements. But if you look at those people, they always pay a price. Always. always and sometimes there's multiple prices. You mm-hmm. know, I think about Steve Jobs, who, who um, died way too soon and of a terrible disease. You know, they tr- struggle with drugs and alcohol abuse, um, uh, re- problems with relationships. Well, mental health. Mental health, physical health, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. everything. It's We believe that programming is the way, and we're here to say, we're here to raise our hand and say to you in, in, the, in a way that we hope will vibrate with that inner voice that is still there's still enough left in you right now that says, 
oh my gosh, maybe this is what I was missing. Oh my gosh, maybe maybe um, the ecosystem approach is my way to infinite, my infinite potential, not someone else's, but yours. Well, and you know what, Jason, I love what you're saying right now. And one of the things that I know about all of what you're saying is that the self-help books don't help you find your authentic self. They basically say to you that you're, that, that you have to find yourself this way. Yes. And the authentic self, one of the things that we know that the ecosystem approach has done has helped both of us find our authentic self. Yes. And that self doesn't need to be motivated. No, no. Unfortunately, we have to say it needs to kind of be tamped down a little bit. So, Jason, what are the key points of um, this segment? The knowing of who you are and your purpose is fragile Mm -hmm. and easily lost. Our training or programming disconnects us from ourselves and our purpose. Mm -hmm. Capturing potential and listening to your inner voice is an energy process, not a programming one. And the ecosystem approach teaches you the energy process to uncover your inner voice and to have real, authentic confidence. Love it. There is another kind of programming that keeps you from that little voice or that feeling of possibility amazing possibility for your life. We're going to talk about that in the next segment. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. What would you do with the power of community? How do you create your own rituals? Tune in to Living Your Gifts with me, Susan Huff, Ancient Applications for Modern Times, the second Wednesday of each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Our lives begin with the stories we are told and the stories we tell ourselves. Storytelling is the key. To learn more about me, visit LivingYourGifts.com. That's LivingYourGifts.com. The knowledge book currently studied in 39 countries and 15 languages around the world accelerates our evolution, takes us out of depression, offers universal truth, protects us, and makes us stronger, both spiritually and physically. So if you are interested in the knowledge book, visit usa.thenowledgebook.net and tune in to the Knowledge Book Radio with Marge Potasik on TransformationTalkRadio.com. It's time to get your life back on Burn Bright Today with Jennifer Marcinelli. Tune in each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Learn to move from the darkness of burning out to the light of burning bright. Jennifer is redefining stress and the energetic causes of burnout, shining a light on process to get your life back. For more information about Jennifer and her work, visit BurnBrightToday.com. Coming to you live on TransformationTalkRadio.com is the brilliance ultimatum. Time's up with Claudette Rowley. Powerful conversations, practical innovations, and transformative solutions as Claudette and her guests delve into the possibilities and what she calls reality resistance. Join the cultural revolution and annihilate obstacles. Check it out at CulturalBrilliance.com. We remember a time when you could simply form a thought and it would manifest. The harmony was forgotten, but it is returning now. The Power of Inspiration and Awakening Radio with Juliet Griffin on TransformationTalkRadio.com each second and fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific will take you on adventures through the heart and spirit exploring who we once were. This intuitive healer studied under the guidance of wolves, learning from their wisdom to master a higher frequency for a new state of mind. Visit OneTrueSelf.com. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to discuss the idea that there is another kind of programming that keeps you from the little voice or the feeling of possibility 
in your life. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you were commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. So, you know, I want to share with everyone my little voice and what happened to my potential. You know, as a little girl, um, I know I've told the story before. Um, I saw um, a little boy um, bothering um, uh, someone who came into our house. And I knew that the little boy wasn't real. I knew even back then. And by the way, I was, I can't remember if I was four, five, six, right around there. And um, my mother, I said, Mom, you know, make the little boy stop bugging this little girl. And my mother, she, she grabbed, she basically grabbed a hold of me and told me to shut up. And later on, she said to me, Your mom could see too. Oh, yes. My mother could see. She could see um, like I see. And um, she basically told me that I could not say things like I said and that I couldn't, um, I couldn't tell anyone that I could see because what I, you know, even though I could see, nobody else understood it and therefore that made me wrong. And um, it, you know, it was a form of shaming. It was. And, and, and basically, you know, she basically threatened me, you know, so I'm, I have to say I showed or had a lot of talent in many, many things, definitely when I was young. And, um, but those things I took for granted and um, everybody else took them for granted as well. This is the idea of programming where as a child, she showed, um, talent with sewing, cooking, dance, arts, caretaking. Um, she t- took care of her mentally disabled sister, mm-hmm. but she was never um, um, supported or acknowledged or, um, or told that that was, that was positive or that, you know, that, that showed that she had great talent. Right. And it was fact, it was just the opposite. Mm-hmm. It, it was, In other words, it was, it was just never, taken for it, granted. It, it yeah. was never good enough, no matter what. And that's programming. That's yes. how. That's another way. That's the whole point of this segment. Is that that's another way to snuff out that inner voice. Exactly. Exactly. And you know, I did have that inner voice, and I knew my first memories that I can really remember. I was about three, and I knew that I was here to do something special. I knew I was here to deliver something. I knew I was here that um, would make a difference. We'll say it that way. You know, even then way back then, anything that had to do with intuition or energy or consciousness. Um, And of course, when I got a little bit older, herbs and natural health and diet and and nutrition, all of those things fascinated me. And and yet I had to struggle to even get acknowledged for the book learning that I did for myself in all of these things. And those other things weren't... um, um supported or no. acknowledged or no. even encouraged. No, not at all. You know, so we get our value as a person and it comes from childhood. Yes. And is a lot of times there's negative programming in childhood, which includes sexual abuse, um, racial, racial programming. Yeah. You know, if you're a person of color, um, there's all sorts of shaming and shaming if you're different in any way. Oh, you know, yeah. And that was that was huge, you know, too smart too fat, too skinny, you know, too right. tall, exactly. too short, exactly. you know, it doesn't matter. And th- those, um, that negative programming, um, um, squelches that inner voice mm-hmm. and also squelches authentic potential. And yes. it creates a lot of emotional pain. Well, and you know, I, I, I need to say this, I use drugs and alcohol, um, to, to, um, push down the emotional pain. That's, you know, it was how I coped with things. And by the way, I don't recommend it at all. I am now more than 30 years clean and sober. Very happy to be. I can't even imagine going back to the old way. I should say it that way. But the thing that I found was, yes, I got clean and sober. And yes, I did a lot of therapy things. And, but there was still that voice, still that voice that kept talking to me and saying, you need you. You've got more than what you're paying attention to. You need to. You need to pay attention to who you are and what you have to offer. The epidemic of 
drug use and mm. of suicide and all the associated um, um, struggles and depression that's related to that comes from too much programming. See, because we revere people who can program themselves, mm -hmm. but really it's, it's contrary to the way humans are designed. Humans don't um, program. It's not natural for us to program ourselves. Right. It's unnatural. And so if you haven't been programmed and you're listening right now, I want to say this to you. If, if, if you say, well, you know, I was never very good at this or I didn't do well in school. I didn't, you know, I, I, I did this and I did that. And that must show that I'm not very good. Well, I want to say that that uh -uh. programming is not natural to humans. Right. And maybe you need to try the ecosystem approach so you can uncover that right. potential that was been, that's been um, programmed out of you and that negative, that negative toxic um, uh, pain mm -hmm. that comes from that, that, that bad programming. Well, and, and, and I want to say when I started using, and when I met Jason, we're going to talk about that in the next segment, but when I started using the ecosystem approach, the potential that had been there all of my life, it almost roared up out and I couldn't stop the things that were part of me and natural, authentic to me. It was amazing. Just amazing. So, I want to, um, to explain this better, Okay. I want to give you a word picture. So imagine your essence, which is where your potential lies. It's made up of a hundred particles of life force energy. And each one of those life, each one of those particles creates a, a unique you. So the particles that Patricia has is different than the particles that I have and that, that you have if you're listening right now. Okay. But what happens is when you get that negative programming, you're not good enough. Um, 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 you'll never amount to anything. Um, um, you're, um, um, you need to try harder because your mommy and daddy aren't the right color or the right, oh. uh, don't yeah. have enough money or yes, whatever yes, it yes, is yes. that puts negative energy on top of one of those particles. And or it, sometimes many of those particles, many of those particles. And right. we're going to talk about that in future shows. Yes. But, um, what happens is that there's, there's a, like a crust or a whole bunch of negative stuff sitting on top of those particles. And that's your potential. Well, and the, the particles are your potential. Yes. Not the crust. Not the crust. So, yes. so as you start to remove that crust, which is exactly what the ecosystem approach does. You know, when we say, um, you know, human beings um, are ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. That's what we're talking about. Right. You uncover those, those, each individual particle, and and frankly, it takes it takes a while. Yes, but then all of your potential becomes infinite. There's no limit to what those hundred particles could do if they were allowed to be uh, free and and work um, in the world in the way that they're supposed to. Well, and you know what, Jason, you you gave a really good. I'm going to use the word metaphor for for this about the clouds. Yes, you know when you start using the ecosystem approach. It's like it's like being um, 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 you know in an area where it's overcast and it's cloudy and it's um, oppressive. And then all of a sudden, there's this there's this break in the clouds and the sun shines through. That's what happens when you start to remove some of this negative energy mm -hmm. and the way and and that that break in the clouds is where your your that inner voice comes. Your true authentic self. And says, hey, you're here to do something important. There you go. And here's how to do it. Yeah. And we're going to help you. And we're going to support you. You know, um, but um, with programming, those clouds um, cover up and, and it's cloudy all the time. If you were to look at most people's essences, right. it looks like um, it's dark clouds all the time. <laughs> and, you know, that's why real human potential becomes depressed and lacks sustainability and clarity. Right. Right. So, um Jason, um, what are the key points of this segment? Negative programming in childhood can suppress potential and your inner voice. Mm -hmm. More programming does not remove the negative programming as widely believed. You, know, you can't program yourself out of negative programming. It doesn't work that way. Right. Removing negative programming is an energy process 
Remember, remove that stuff out of those particles and uncovers unlimited human potential. But what, but today we're not talking about human potential. We're talking about your potential. Yes. So if you're listening right now, we're talking about your potential and the ecosystem approach teaches you, um, um, that this energy, that this is how to use this energy process and how to listen to your inner, inner voice. And by the way, it is the most amazing thing when you see that ray of sunshine for the first time um, since you were a kid of, oh my gosh, I can do something that's going to matter, even if it just matters to me. It's amazing. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to discuss real solutions to the disintegration of mental health in general and what you can do for yourself. This, that, that was, that was last that. week. Yes. Yeah, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about you. We're going to discuss what to do with that inner voice and that forgotten potential that you're thinking about right now. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Are you ready to put down that drink or drug for good? Are you struggling to maintain your recovery from addictive behaviors? Do you need help with a family member or loved one who's in early recovery or battling addiction? Get the help and guidance you need by arranging a recovery recharged phone session with me, Ellen Stewart, Pushy Broad from the Bronx, Certified Life and Recovery Coach. Call 1-800-889-1757. Make an appointment today. Or go to my website, pushybroadfromthebronx.com, and click on the link that says Recovery Recharged. Don't wait. Get the help you need today. This is Ellen Stewart, Pushy Broad from the Bronx, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Yeah, yippee skippy to that, baby. We're not done yet. Some of us are out here to educate and inspire. This year, 2020, is the year we got to show me the money in the cash flow. I'm Dr. Pat. This is the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Visit the thedrpatshow.com. The vibration of change, that magical place where life shifts from struggle to ease, from stagnation to forward movement, from old ways of being to new ways of becoming. If you're like I am, it can be rather elusive to get there, but when you are in it, you feel it down to your very core, don't you? And it can positively affect everything in your life, from your relationships to your health and well-being, from your career path to your abundance. From the quality of that inner connection to the fullness of your self-expression. On the Christine Upchurch Show, we explore ways to get into that vibration of change with experts in the fields of consciousness, psychology, spirituality, health, healing, and science. Join me, Christine Upchurch, every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on KKNW AM 1150 and Transformation Talk Radio and learn new ways to step into your vibration of change. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk to you about what to do with that inner voice and forgotten potential that you were thinking about, maybe even right now. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you were commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, the question is for you, meaning the audience. Do you remember that inner voice or something that happened to you that felt like it had some cosmic significance? Maybe you pushed it aside or, you know, held it down, squelched it, 
or forgotten it. So, you know, Jason, most people have an experience like that. And I want to be careful with the most. There are a lot of people that never do. Mm. I want to say that. Mm-hmm. But if you're listening right now, if you're listening to this, there's a good chance that you have. Yeah. And it's not just about an inner voice. Oh, you're here to do something important. It's a lot of people have a dream or a vision or see something, you know, especially as a child mm-hmm. and they, and they talk themselves out of it and said, no, I didn't see that. Or maybe you saw a ghost, maybe you saw um, something that, that happened and you, and you connected with, with a belief that says, well, this, what happened means this. Yeah. I want you to go back to that time because chances are it was a message mm. and we were trying to reactivate that part of you. Now for, for those of you who like to jump ahead doesn't mean that you have to do anything right now. You're not going to have to quit your job, you know, sell all your worldly. <laughs> and go belongings. sit on the mountaintop. Yeah. yeah. None of that. But we just want you to start this by listening to our show every week mm-hmm. and do the clearings and start to listen to that inner voice. You know, Jason, I think right now is really appropriate to talk about, you know, um, when we met and um, how we activated that inner voice. You know, and um, she, she likes to talk about how all the names she called me and, and the, we had a disagreement <laughs> in the beginning, you know, about, about energy. But the truth is we started talking about this stuff. And as we did, it activated those, that inner voice in both of us. And it was amazing. And, and by the way, we disagreed on a lot of things, but the one thing that we really knew or that it just jumped, um, made both of us jump, so to speak, was that, we knew we were here to do something amazing. And, you know, the ecosystem approach, we created the ecosystem approach for those who know that they're here for something special, that have unrealized potential. And there's no programming in the ecosystem approach. Mm-hmm. We uncover instead of program you. And it's amazing. And the, the truth is, is that for both Patricia and I, you know, she, she had learned a lot of things before when we met. And I was basically just following my intuition. But the ecosystem approach was not developed by having someone else tell us what the truth is. It was developed by us using our refined intuition and going inside and listening to that inner voice. And it was not a one size fits all, but it's not and it's not rules. It's highly individual. Well, and 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 I and I want to say a lot of what the ecosystem approach originally did for us, well, and still does, it, um, we questioned the things that we had learned. We questioned the things that we had read. In, in we questioned we, everything. We questioned everything. And, and anybody that had been listening, we would have driven them absolutely nuts. To those conversations, you yes, know, back and absolutely. forth. absolutely. But we did, and we questioned it, and then we looked. We used yes. our intuition we refined our intuition more and we look some more mm-hmm. and we, we said, well, is it this way? And then we'd look and then we, tr- we find some, in- we do some more clearing. We clear away those, 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 um, those particles. Right. Well, exactly. And, and the, some of the most amazing things that we managed to do was because of things that were happening around us, we, would question how, well, before I would have done it this way, but now I don't see it that way, or I don't see that using the old way is the way to do it. And it was really, really, really incredible. You know, the, mo- the things that happened. Most people um, are unable to trust, they can't trust that they can function yeah. without programming. Yes. And we're not saying just don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Mm-hmm. You know, here's the next steps. And, and, and you're going to start, you know, with the ecosystem approach. Here's the next steps. Okay. And I was just going to say, we live in a programming world. Don't throw it out. Yes. Um, start with baby steps. Right. But here's how you start. Just start clearing. In our next segment, we're going to do clearings. Do it with us. Mm-hmm. Listen to our shows. If you have a show topic request, you know, um, send us a send it to us an email at hello at the ecosystem and um, and then do the clearings. Sign up for our free section. Get the weekly clearing list and do those clearings. As you start uncovering, as you do the clearings over and over and over again, that you uncover that little voice. You uncover information. Mm-hmm. It starts to come to you. And that's the key. Right, right. Well, and, 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 and the, 
the bottom line is, is that when we do the, um, when you start to do the, the, the clearings and he said, you know, do them over and over and over again, which is a great thing to do. Um, the bottom line is, is that we need to realize that even if the show topic or the clearing topic doesn't apply to where you think you are today, no matter what, the clearings will make a difference in your life and the clear, and you will find those things that you're looking for. Exactly. And we're going to spend a little more time telling you how to clear today in just a minute, but here are the key points. Okay. And wait a minute, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? <laughs> um, you can wake up that inner voice and capture your potential as intended. Mm-hmm. Take a minute to remember that time when you knew there was something special about you. Mm-hmm. Just take, take a moment, you know, right now in between um, segments, we've made it easy for you to start with the ecosystem approach by listening to the shows and doing the weekly clearings. And the ecosystem approach is a portal to a new life that was intended for you all along. And I want to reiterate, the ecosystem approach is your por- portal to a new life, a new life with light, uh, that, that, that inner light that all of us have. We are given this inner light, and it's been covered up. It's, it's amazingly satisfying because when you go back to yourself, um, it can't be bad. It can't be wrong. Right. So right. This, is, this is how you clear. And here's the truth of this. This is a really simple process. You don't have to do it perfectly. Um, we suggest that you do it our way in the beginning because we've had so many people over the years say, well, I want to do it this way. I want to do it that way. And sometimes you can make those changes, um, but we know this works. Mm-hmm. And um, um, it sounds deceptively simple. Um, but it works. And we've been okay. doing it for 20 years. It works. Okay. So usually you sit, you can stand, you can be, um, you, your posture is not really important. You can be laying down when you do this. You can be driving. Um, it's very, very portable. You can do it in your head. You don't have to say it out loud. And um, usually we'll, we'll make a clearing statement and then we say to eliminate. We say to eliminate, just imagine in your mind's eye, in your imagination, gathering up the feelings Maybe it's the veils and illusions. Maybe it's barriers. Whatever we say to gather up and to eliminate, gather those up, those things up in your body, and then blow them out into a trash can. Now we have a what we call the processor. If you go to our website, theecosystemapproach.org, there's a picture of the processor there, and you can actually print it out and put it on your table so you have a, a picture. Mm-hmm. But if you're driving or doing something that you can't. Uh, um, uh, you can't have that physical picture. Just use your imagination. Right. And um, and if you don't have that physical picture in this moment, just use a picture of a trash can or an actual trash can. And blow it into that. And don't worry about that. We'll empty it. We'll take care of that. So don't worry about that. Right. Part. Right. And there's there's a couple of things about the trash can that's really important. One of them is is you want to use the trash can because you're going to get rid of negative energy. And just throwing it around or dropping it off, you know, uh, on the uh, floor next to you, it doesn't get rid of it. You need to make sure you use the processor or the garbage can because it really helps you be be positive and, and the room stay positive, so to speak. We, Patricia and I clear every day, but we never blow the negative energy on each other. <laughs> <laughs> we always put it in the, tr- in the processor. Exactly right. Okay. So then um, the, the other part of that is, is I start at the tips of my toes. Granted, you don't have to, but I started at the tips of my toes because I want to get rid of all that negative energy that I've been holding on to or collected or walked into, or in other words, there's negative energy around us everywhere. We don't need it. So, and the other thing that we're going to do at the end of that, we're going to, um, activate life force energy. The, it is the most powerful energy that any of us have access to. And in that, what we're going to do is we're going to call upon it. We're going to let it go through the top of our head, our head. It's going to go down our arms, all the way down our torso to the tips of our toes. We're going to turn it around and we're going to blow up any negative energy left over. And um, it just feels fantastic, especially the more you do it, the better it feels. Exactly. So stay tuned when we come back. We're going to do some clearings to help you listen to your inner voice and start to uncover your potential. 
This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, this is Kimberly Carlson. And I would love for you to tune in to All In Healing Radio, where together we will begin to experience health, happiness, and harmony in all areas and aspects of life. Join us every first Tuesday of the month at 11 a.m. on TransformationTalkRadio.com. All In Healing will help you release layers of negative beliefs and energies for radiant health, deep joy, and greater abundance. Visit me at KimberlyCarlson.com. Are you your story? Or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day and then step back and see what happens? It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge. And I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Hey, how's it going? If it's stressful or just plain exhausting, New Light Living is here to ask, is this the way you want to live? Join me, your intuitive spiritual life coach and host, Orika Sullivan, every week on New Light Living. Discover the power of creative tools to start living every day as your ideal dream day. See your life in the new light. To learn more, visit newlightliving.com. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to do some clearings to help you listen to your inner voice and start to uncover your potential. Jason, you ready? Here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that programming has silenced my inner voice. Gather up those veils and illusions. Take a breath. Blow them into the trash can, the processor. And to eliminate the anger, hate, rage, and bitterness that I have that comes from essence that has been sidelined. Take a breath. When you program yourself, your essence isn't happy. So here we go. And to eliminate my fears and anxieties that say, Programming is the only way to motivate myself. Gather up those fears and anxieties. Blow them to the trash can. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see my unlimited potential comes from essence. My essence, not programming. Take a breath. Blow it out. And to eliminate the barrier so I can begin to hear from that inner voice, even um, even knowing that I don't have to take action on that inner voice right away. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barrier so I can see how badly my inner voice and natural motivation 
has been discredited, squelched, and discounted. Take a breath. Blow it out. And to eliminate the false belief that my negative programming about myself is true. Mm. Gather up those false beliefs and blow them into the pro- into the trash can. And to eliminate any resentment and hopelessness I have about my own achievement now or in the future. Take a breath. And to eliminate um, any anger I have about being judged and ridiculed if I can't program myself very well. You're not supposed to be able to be programmed. Take a breath. Gather up that anger about being judged and ridiculed. And to eliminate the barrier so I can use clearing to overcome my negative programming now, and here's the big one, and in the future. Take a breath. And to eliminate all the negative programming that keeps me from my greatest potential. That Gather up that negative programming. You're not good enough. You never mount anything. You're a failure. Put that in the, pr- the processor right now. And I'm going to say, oh, hooey on that one. Yes. Take a nice breath, everybody. You know, Jason, we need to do some clearing for the world. What do you say? Well, let's do that. So, um, we're just going to adapt our clearing process. So in your mind's eye, instead of gathering up from the tips of your toes, just imagine a big hand going around the world like a globe. And at the end is a big dumpster. You put the negative energy in that. And again, it's just a big, big processor. So here we go. All right, here we go. And to eliminate all the prejudice and propaganda about programming versus the authentic self that's in the world today. Gather up that prejudice and propaganda. Put it into that that dumpster. And to eliminate for the entire world the anger, hate, and bitterness about negative programming. You're not good enough. You never amount to anything. You're the wrong color. Exactly. You know, you're the wrong um, gender. All the way around the world, take a breath. And drop it into that, uh, what is it, dumpster. And to eliminate. The discrediting of the inner voice and the true power that comes from essence and 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 this kind of energy work. Gather that all up, all that discrediting energy. Drop it in that uh, dumpster. And to eliminate the barriers so we can start removing the negative programming and unleash everyone's amazing Authentic potential. Take a breath. All the way around the world and drop it into that trash can. Big trash dumpster, I should say. Jason, you ready to activate some life force? Let's do that. All right, here we go. Um, And to activate life force so that I can have hope that my inner voice can come forward and really help me. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can trust that I can be, um, that I can motivate and be successful in using inner resources versus programming. Take a breath. Right there through the top of your head. Let it go all the way to the tips of your toes. Now blow up any negative energy left over. And to activate um, life force so I can trust the motivation and wisdom that comes from inside me versus outside of me with programming. Take a breath. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy, have clarity, awareness, and objectivity, creativity, knowing, um, 
and anything and everything, the ability to use my inner self, the, my, my essence of who I am to see the truth about not only myself and then be able to handle it, but also the world. Take a breath, everyone, in through the top of your head. Go all the way to the tips of your toes. Turn it around and blow it out. Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? This is a second um, um, show in the series. Okay. And it's about knowing self and what that is really. Now, I want to turn your attention to the graphics. So if you go to our website, theecosystemapproach.org, and look at upcoming um, in our little radio box there, you'll see this graphic. And it, in this graphic, it looks like a a, um, uh, a poster that you put in a dorm room. It says, follow your soul, it knows the way. That sounds great, right? But what we found in this, in this adventure that we've been on is that almost no one knows how to follow their soul. It, it's true. The mm-hmm. graphic is true. You know, your soul knows the way, but no one knows how to follow it. And what happens is we... We uh, use romantic notions that, oh, my soul, my soul needs this and my soul needs that. Well, the truth is those are your emotions that are out of control because of too much programming. Yeah. To really refine your intuition to know, um, to know yourself and what your soul is saying to you, there's, there, there's a lot missing in that idea. And we're going to get into that next week. Be sure I, to tune in. Yeah. I love it, Jason. I think that's amazing. So, Jason, how can I get more information and real support for for and from the ecosystem approach? I know that there's someone out there that they're saying, oh, my gosh, my inner voice been trying to t- talk to me. That inner voice, I had that when I was a child. Or I remember this thing that happened to me a long, long time ago. Yeah, I'm talking to you right now. Mm. you need the ecosystem approach. This is the way to uncover it. This is the way to have your power. And we're not, we're not going to suggest to you that you, that you quit your job and, and sell all your worldly belongings and go sit on a mountaintop. We've created the ecosystem approach for people that li- want to live in the world the way it is right now. And be practical in all of it. We're, uh, that's that was one of our first things about when we started doing the ecosystem approach. We're saying, okay, we we get this energy stuff, but how do we make it practical? How can we make it useful for everyday people that are just trying to you know pay the mortgage and and be healthy and and raise their families? Well, and and that's where we came up with start with yourself. Exactly, you know. Um, so so how can you get more information and real support with the ecosystem approach? Go to our website first and sign up for our free subscription service, theecosystemapproach.org. And then when you sign up, make sure you check the box for the weekly free clearings because that's a really essential, important part of what we're doing here. Because the idea is that this these weekly free clearings uh, is something that you do in between shows. And if you do those, that's when you start to listen to your your. Uh, inner voice, but it also gives a little bit of backstory, you know, a couple paragraphs about me or Patricia and how this affects the topic affects us personally. Yeah. So um, you'll, you'll love it, but it's really important that um, we've made this so easy for you. And what we're doing is we're laying out the crumbs. It's not something that happens fast. It's not a quick fix. Mm -hmm. It's not a light switch that you can just flick and everything changes. Well, you're right. That's true. But I have almost never worked with someone, especially the first time where they haven't said, you know, I just feel lighter or, you know, I did the clearings last week and I was having such a bad day and I just felt lighter and better. And then the solution to my problem, there it was, I could see it. Well, and we've been doing this for a long time, 20 years. And, you know, between us, we have 40 years of experience. It's a lot of a lot of people that we've seen over the years. But here's something that's really important, that if you're listening right now, mm-hmm. we have there's a lot of people that have been so programmed that this isn't, they say, ah, ah this isn't for me. That, you know, and that's okay. Yeah, you know, um, this, this won't work. I don't, I don't get this. I don't understand it. You know, right. you know yawn, what's next? <laughs> but there's, there's people out there now 
that have been attracted to this. They knew they were supposed to come. They were supposed to listen to this. Mm -hmm. And if you're one of those, we, we want you, we want to, we want to, we want you to be part of our group. We want you to be part of, of doing this every week. So, so listen to our show every week and do the clearing at the end. Our show is every week, Monday at 1 PM Pacific and 4 PM Eastern time. If you can't listen at that time, our show is recorded and you can go to our new website the ecosystemapproach.org and sign up for our free section. You know, you can visit our Facebook page at the ecosystemapproach.org and like us. We always like that. And then um, next week, um, um, remember that your ecosystem is the most important one in the world. Thank you for listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. Tune in every week as we discuss practical ways to apply the ecosystem approach and develop your potential to live your life on your terms. For more information, visit our website at theecosystemapproach.org.